Boy, back and forth game, uh, extremely exciting. There was no team that had more than a one score lead. And, you know, we thought it was going to come down to the team that had the ball last. Uh, I wish we had a little bit more time there at the end, but they scored with about a minute line left. Um, kicked it. We had the ball, I think, at our 30. Uh, and then Davis came up to me as he was going out of the field. What do you think about running a certain screenplay? And I said, I love it. Ran it. He went all the way down to, I think, the 20. It was a face mask penalty. Um, so it enabled us to put ourselves in position and ran a play. Spencer Schultz wide open uh, for a touchdown and then decided to go for a two point. Um, been to playoffs nine times, haven't won a game. We got the ball three yard line with 30 seconds left and we're going for the win. And so ran the same exact play, um, but the corner came up a little bit on the bubble screen to Davis and then Naraki uh, was open and, and Chase made a great throw, great pass protection, just great win for our team, our school and our community. One against Norway, uh, 36 to 35. That was fantastic. I mean, hard to describe that feeling. You know, our kids have worked so hard and have come such a long way. It wasn't too far removed that we were one in 40. Um, and it, it's definitely been a process, and our kids have had blind faith, you know, what we've been doing. And, and to see that trust not only in us, but in themselves and their teammates to come to fruition, um, the feeling is indescribable. So, you know, obviously we're excited and we want them to enjoy this process, but when it's time to work, you know, it's time to work. Um, but they've earned the right to enjoy everything. And I think so much we, we always look at the next goal and the next prize and we don't really um, enjoy the whole process. So we want to make sure our kids do that as well. Preparing for Chippewa, um, I don't think there's a change in mindset. We're going to go at it as business as usual. And I don't think there was a time this year that our kids didn't feel like they were going to win prior to the game, during the game. Um, we've been in a lot of different situations during the year, whether we've been behind late and come back and won, whether we've been up late and lost. Um, so I think our kids are equipped to handle any of those situations. I really thought it, it helped us Friday night, but as far as this week, it, it's business as normal and we've reset our goals and one game at a time and you know we want to win the region and in order to win the region, you got to beat Chippewa. Yeah, you know, we, we hadn't won a playoff game ever. Um, that was our ninth appearance. I know they played 14 to seven. I want to say 2002, possibly to Delta. Um, and that's when they had Nate Kamick, who played at Mount Union, it was pretty darn good. But I think that's probably the closest that they had come to winning a playoff game. So, you know, I've been in a situation like those before where, like I said, you've kicked it and, and it didn't go in. So I promise myself, we get in those situations, we're going for two and going for the win. And, you know, that's kind of our kids' mindset, too. You know, play for the tie and keeping it going. If we got a chance to win right there, we're going for it. It's huge, not just for our team, but for our school and community. Um, you know, there's great people in Rossford, and we have great kids that go to school here. And, I know we have some things coming down the pipe, you know, as far as levies and things like that. And, um, you know, I know we talked about before the season that uh, this season is important for bringing the community and school back together. And that's what I really enjoyed seeing is our community supporting our school and everyone coming together last Friday night to celebrate in the victory. So it's definitely a school and community uh, wide celebration.